Hey, what's going on guys? Ryan here bringing you the next episode of Hate Mail. My friend just showed me this comment. I was actually out with my girlfriend. It's Valentine's Day. I uh, went out on a special date, dropped her off, and uh, my friend <coughs> showed me this, this comment. And I immediately started laughing. Um, I actually didn't have a video planned for today. And, um, you know, I want to thank this person for giving me the opportunity to make another video. Uh, you know, it's pretty cool that, uh, that you are this stupid. Um, this video or this comment was posted on my video where I uh, respond to Josh Feirstein, where I tear his arguments against evolution apart. Um, and I didn't even need to present any facts. Like if you just watch the video itself, um, Josh owns himself. Um, like there is no backing for anything he says. I mean, it goes against what we observe around us. It's absolutely pathetic. And it's the typical creationist point of view. But I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to read this comment here and you can see what, where this person stands. Um, and then I'm going to respond to it and uh, own this creationist as well. So let's get right into it. You, sir, are a jackass. How old are you? Like six? Hey, show me a photo of the Big Bang. Learn proper use of the English language, kid. So where to, where to, where to start? Pretty simple comment. You know, you, sir, are a jackass. I mean, uh, uh, you're ask, you ask for evidence later in uh, your comment, and you don't present any of how I'm a jackass. Um, I am trying to further humanity or further our lives and uh, the world around us through getting rid of creationism, um, getting rid of uh, religion, because those are the two things that hold us back uh, substantially. And so I'm a jackass for helping people out. Yeah, no. The jackass is the one who spreads lies without any sort of evidence whatsoever based on a book that has no evidence for it whatsoever, no backing, and has never been proven to be anything uh, worth anything. Um, there's a YouTuber by the name of the friendly atheist, uh, Hemant Meta. He makes a perfect video. The video is titled, All the Facts... It's like something like all the facts in the Bible or all the truthful facts in the Bible or something like that. And the video starts where he's just sitting there and he just sits there for like a minute or two, just not saying anything. And then he goes to his outro and it, it sums it up perfectly. I mean, there, there's no weight to the Bible. You can't use the Bible for, as proof for shit. Um, and so it's just, it's just bogus. How old are you? Like six. Well, in... That video and this video and most of my other videos, you can see my face and my body. Um, if you think I'm six years old, then I'm really worried about your perception. Like, I'm honestly worried you might want to get checked out. That's a little scary if you think I'm six years old. I've actually stated numerous times that I'm 19 years old. Uh, my voice is way deeper than a six-year-old. I look a lot older than six years old. Um, I'm in college. You can tell I'm in a dorm room right now. I have a tattoo. Like, I have multiple tattoos. Uh, I'm not six years old. Um, and if you think that's insulting, it's not. Like, I don't get insulted if you call me six. If you want to go for insulting, you don't go for such a low number, 13 years younger than me. I know you're a troll. I know you're... There's no, there's no reason why you'd believe I'm six years old when I show my face and you hear my voice. If it was a text video, then maybe it would hold a little bit of weight, but no. Now, here's where it gets interesting. He goes on to say, hey, show me a photo of the Big Bang. Wow. Okay. Um, this, is, this is the problem with creationist uh, point of view. They don't understand that, well, for one, the problem with this comment, show me a photo of the Big Bang. We don't have any photos of the Big Bang because the Big Bang happened, uh, like, is it, I think it's like 13.7 billion years ago. So we didn't have photo or cameras back then for one we didn't actually have people back then no one existed when the big bang happened and so no one could have taken a photo of the big bang it's in the past there you can't take a photo of the big bang number two the creationist failure in the creationist point of view is that if you can't observe something then it's not true or it's not provable is the better way to put it um and that's a, an incredibly uh dishonest and uh, pathetic way to look at things you can prove things without knowing that they actually happen. Um, 
Darkmatter 2525 makes a perfect video when uh, Ken Ham makes the argument, you know, about uh, historical science where if you don't observe something, you can't prove it to be true. Uh, Darkmatter 2525 makes a video, um, I believe it's titled like You Weren't There or something like that. And I highly suggest checking it out because it, it, it's funny how it, it tears apart this historical science um, argument as well as there's other things um, such as Pluto and uh, there's a lot of factual things regarding Pluto like how it has like a, I think it's like 280 year um, orbit around the sun. We discovered it in 1980 so we haven't even seen a full orbit. So how do we know it's 280 years? Well, we look at um, things where it's been, where it's going, per, uh, Tra trajectory stuff like that and we can accurately uh, guess um, an accurate guess uh, a thousand years in the past where it was and a thousand years in the future where it was um, back when it around when it was discovered scientists made predictions about where it'd be and it's exactly where they thought it would be so yeah his uh, you don't need to observe it for it to be potentially true um, this is the number one failure in the creationist point of view. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, this is why people make fun of creationists is because they can't accept what's around them. Science, well, science isn't around us. Science is the testing of what is around us. You are basically denying the, what we observe all around us by saying that because science has proven things such as the big bang well no the big bang i don't believe has been proven but it's a theory that holds a lot of weight it's been um research it's been tested it's you know been hypothesized about it's been looked at in depth and i believe i'm not sure if it's a fact or not actually i'm gonna i'm gonna google it right now um Yep, it's a fact. Big Bang is a, is a fact. Um, so if you deny the Big Bang, if you deny evolution, then you are denying what is around us, um, what we observe, what we've tested with accuracy. Um, and it's just retarded. If you deny the Big Bang or evolution, then you are automatically going to get mocked because you are denying what we know to be true. You're denying a scientific fact because you're indoctrinated by your Bible to believe whatever the fuck it tells you without any sort of questioning whatsoever. You need to learn to question things. Question me. Question what I say and do the research yourself. But don't go to stupid religious websites where they bend the truth in their favor. Go to actual scientific websites for scientific facts and do the research yourself. Don't, don't just listen to me. Do the research yourself and you will... Um, question me and you'll find for yourself that the big bang and evolution are true as well as many other things that creationists refuse to accept like carbon dating oh my god <sighs> do the research if you're a creationist do the fucking research last last sentence use proper or learn sorry learn proper use of the english language kid once again he fails to provide any examples of where i failed to use the english language I may have stuttered, I may have um, changed my sentence, uh, changed the direction of my sentence mid-sentence, but I know how to use the English language more than properly. Um, and you end the word, you end the sentence with kid. Now, this is the funny part. When, when, people, when people say kid, it's, it, I automatically know their maturity level is scary low like very very scary in the low category because you are trying to insult me by calling me a kid when i'm not a kid i mean that's like ju that's just like calling someone gay who's not gay like what and even even if i was a kid it has no relevance to it whatsoever a kid is smarter than you is basically what you're saying you are showing that you are dumber than a six-year-old, as you put it. I wouldn't put age and kid in your comment if you're going to talk about creationism. Science doesn't lie. 
Well, that's about it for the video, video guys. Thanks for watching. <sighs> it's nice seeing comments like this because it, it gives me, it, it, it makes my day because it reminds me that I am actually competent and that I actually have a brain, so that, which is nice. But uh, yeah, well, have a nice day.